All right. So with Juice, probably gonna see the. He's going Roy. The Roy. I had to remember for a second. Who's, here that, who's here that plays the Falco? Huh? Who here plays not Falco? Falcon. Uh, it's Carrot. Ah, uh, I got. I always get them confused. And then we're gonna see from Cipher. We're gonna see Terry. The hell. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting fix. I know I've seen Cypher play a whole lot of characters as well. Oh my god, he like this is the first character he's been able to stick on. He's been playing Terry for a little he's been practicing Terry for a little bit. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Dude, he jumps from character. character to character. I wanna see how Bits versus King is going. Oh, but it's always been a it's always been his secondary. He he's always glued in with Mewtwo. That's fair. I think it's the first time he's been with Tedford in a while. Every time he's lame. And, it, and it's a losing matchup, it's great. It's definitely King. You consider Campy? You consider Campy? Who is? Huh. Huh. Yeah, I know, I in his channel, whatever. Have you fought? The music pick. All right, so we're gonna see the Roy, and then we're gonna see the Terry. Two. All righty, dude. He <laughs> he play, playing short. Yeah, you play them. rooting for both of them, but I I hope who I'm praying for the winner here. Even though I think I know how this game is gonna end. All right, so we got game one. Cypher and Juice. Cypher will be rocking the Terry, and Juice is already starting with the with the Roy. Oh, okay. I was really hoping he wouldn't just instantly die there. I feel like what's interesting about this kind of matchup is I look at Terry as a character that you never want to interact with. Terry. Terry's boxing is insane. Terry's advantage state is insane. His neutral is pretty good. But with someone like Zemir, I feel like, and, and just Roy in general. Oh, I, I think he's trying to get the Buster Wolf inputs in, but uh, he keeps messing him up. Okay, there we go. I think he's I think he's in the rhythm now. At least he's at least he's doing the moves now. I feel like you wanna like try to space around Terry as much as you can. This is out of shape. Normally i normally I'd be worried about this percent difference, but it is Terry. <laughs> oh my god. I love the noodle I love oh, I, oh Terry, that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Because Terry's up he always does put him like the slight inch above the ledge. I mean, you don't have to, because uh, Command and Put. Usually you can just do Command and Put up the annual heavy items to get over here. Which is usually why Terry doesn't show up too many two frames. As long as you can get the Command and Put going. But Samir trying to hold his advantage as best as he can. I feel like that's another thing. Oh my god! Terry's disadvantage is kind of like whatever. I didn't think Cypher would hit him with the typical Terry combo. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for the. There it is. He got the confirm. That's the true side B, right? Yeah. Trying to see. I feel like, again, like I was saying, you don't want to hold it into Terry. But I because feel like that's Terry wants you to come to him. You, you want, Terry wants uh, to box you. Cause yeah. His close quarters is just better, but I feel like as long as you know how to space around it and also just like Samir using his fist run as best he can, you can not the biggest thing that Jumper does. It's the best here. Although uh, it's still a work in progress, I, can, I do see that Juice is being a little careful of the Terry. He doesn't want to, like, he even threw out that counter the first stock. He knows what he's up against. I always want to be careful, especially this Terry string that is insane. Like this character, like can throw out whatever he wants. And yet we don't. Terrible. And yet we don't see Terry that much here. Why do I feel like the spike is incoming? Oh my god! It's that it's that recovery that worries me the most. Because he always puts himself a little bit above. Hopefully, oh, he's not dead here. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So he does have go. Maybe Cypher can snag another stock. Oh, I'm surprised he rolled back. Oh, we got him. He just has a decent amount of rage, too. Oh, uh, but uh, Juice has a lot of kill options here. He's got his side B. He's got the uh, forward air might kill from here. Back air will definitely kill. Oh, uh, and that'll do it. But he did get him down to one stock. That was very good. Cypher definitely putting up a fight, especially against someone of Juice's caliber. I'm trying to get best out here. I feel like also trying to hold your trying to hold advantage as best you can. Yeah, so, like, it's weird because like in a matchup like that where it's like you're both kind of trying to hold forward and get as much damage as you can. Like Terry has to be careful of not getting run over too hard because I think his disadvantage is worse than Roy's just in uh -huh. general. But also like knowing that you have better openings than Roy. All right, we have game two. One, go. Is anything going to be any different? Once you're going back to the PS2. Seems to have a little bit of a similar start. P oh, like no. He's using the real stage, but unfortunately Damn. not actually clipping the ledge. That's a bit rough, but it's not the worst. He could always hit. He could always SD again. <laughs> right now, Juice is holding a lead. I think what's insane is that I know Terry has some really awkward disjoints, which is really weird considering. I'm really surprised Juice didn't counter that. I thought he would have seen that coming. I can deal with it better just by like going for an aerial kind of thing. Also, Roy counters isn't that strong. For the most part, he's good. Jerry. I mean, he's kind of holding his lead, and it's. And All right. He's, good. he's gonna get that first stock. At the very least, he's not getting three stocks. He doesn't really have to. He's trying to be careful, but he also knows that like if he he can play around his own like pretty well because Terry's still kind of steady at the end of the day. Gotta, he's fast. You, so. you got to play Terry's game, not the opponent's. Um, Getting those up air chains. I think I the see. one issue here is I'm seeing a little too. Obviously, it's appropriate, but oh, uh, he's not dead. That's what's going on. Oh my god, I was so worried there. If he can get a power geyser in here. Barely just looking to jab on the roll and trying, trying to see if he can oh, confirm more safe Oh my god. He's trying to get a kill confirm here. Come on, get the power geyser. Come on, Cypher, get the power geyser. Oh my god. If he did the power geyser, that would have broken the shield, wouldn't it? Uh, power, like the bus roll? Or oh my god. If he hit it, sure, it would have broke, but he moved out of the way. Oh my god. The patience point, from both of them. This one is Ah, that's boys. death. It may have been a 2 0, but he did very well. Even getting it down to one stock the first game. Yeah, at, th at that point, he just came down to a lot of disadvantage options. He was kind of playing disadvantage a little bit too. Do I guess autopilot-y? But that's against someone like Juice, who has been playing this for a long time. He knows these matchups very well. For someone who just recently started playing Terry, that was pretty well. Well, actually, no. I'm trying to remember if he's been how long he's been playing Terry for. Oh, uh, that's right. I remember. I think he used to play main Terry. Then he dropped him for a while, and then I think this is him picking him back up. Beats King was game three. All right, so this is Joker against. Fuck it. Uh, I think this is Joker against Game & Watch. He's been saying Game <laughs>